All right, so last update before Sunday. So today's Thursday. And as you can see, there's a lot more rust. And I still think it's Fanex, so we'll see for sure. All right, bye. All right, so now it is Sunday the 6th. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more, not more rust on this thing. And for some reason, there's rust here where there's no contact, which is kind of weird. All right, so just to take a look at this, see the results. Yeah, it's basically Yep, it's the it's the Vanex. And this is something I saw, okay. This is something I saw with the titanium too. So in the video that I have with when I compared uh Vanex when I tried to do the Galvanic corrosion with Vanex against titanium, I got this little divot too where the rubber band was. I don't know what that is exactly. But yeah. Same thing here. So this is very similar to, to titanium in, in in the form that it interacts with Vanix. Except with the titanium, the divot was a lot like deeper. The cut was a lot deeper. But yeah, so okay. Um basically so <laughs> So yeah, H1 is, is more corrosive resistant than Vanex. So according to, to this corrosion test in 4.2% salt water, in a salt water solution, um, yeah, H1 is, is more corrosive resistant. Okay, um, if you want me to do anything else, I'm going to do LC200N later on, but that's, that's going to be like from a month from now. But um I'm also going to do a video just explaining what galvanic corrosion is, just so I can keep referencing to that uh, in future videos, it, when I do f future videos about this. But yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Alright, bye.